for. And, and I voted for you, and you are friends with my family. Our town has never seen so much homophobic crap mm -hmm. as we have since Miller came along. And I'm mm -hmm. sick of it. I'm sick of it. These people have been with us this entire time, and we have never had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They have never done any of the vile and disgusting things that that man and his weird cronies have leaked out of their mouth. Period. I have, I've never been sexually assaulted at a drag show, but I have been in church twice. Period. And I'll tell you what, the men at that church told me it was my fault. Speak on it, Jesse. Jessie Graham, she's a Tennessee woman. She's talking at this local public library meeting after a few of her, her fellow constituents and also some of these folks on the board were complaining about a library a, a, a display, a pride display that was happening in the city. So of course they want to come and attack, get violent, get very angry about the whole thing. But as you saw how she pointed out there, she's never been assaulted at a, a drag event, but she's definitely been assaulted at church twice. There's other folks that have many stories like it. But there was one specific board member that she hit on consistently through his rant. This grant was, was fantastic, by the way. We're gonna get through much of it. But don't forget the name Aaron or Miller. Fully Aaron Miller. Get back at him, Jesse. This whole scenario should have stopped at the United States of America where we have free speech, but it didn't. We're here. And it's so ironic that he also served in our military. That guarantees us these freedoms, and he is here, moved from another place to come here and tell us that a community that we love, we are related to, we are friends with, they babysit our kids, we work with them, that they're dangerous. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. They haven't done anything to anyone. And I'm so sick of listening to this weird fake pious crap about Christianity being the reason behind we have to protect the kids. Jesus didn't go anywhere and condemn people. He did not ever walk into any place and feel hatred and lies and completely annihilate a group of human beings who just want to exist. That he that she was talking about, Aaron Miller, as I mentioned a second ago, is the one that she's targeting because he's very upfront about his anger, his homophobia. Here's a tweet from him. One of the perks of working the graveyard shift is that I have some extra time on my hands to catch up on the latest news and schoolwork. Last night, I watched Matt Walsh's new documentary, What is a Woman? People that support this cult-like ideology are abusers and groomers of children, they're monsters. Those that stand idly by and allow it to happen, escape that label by the barest of margins. I'll say it again, we must remove this evil, these monsters from our communities. Nobody is coming to save us, we have to do it ourselves. This is a community leader, you guys, talking about folks that live in that community like that. Here's more because uh, there was another comment from David Baker, who's a candidate for mayor. So this is, you know, they're, they're sweeping up the whole leadership in this entire town. David Baker says, agreed, my wife and I watched it after church last night. <laughs> if it was before church, would it not sink in? Just not sure why it has to be after church. Anyways, it was disgusting to see what people believe and what they're pushing. There was no logical intellectual honesty, but they're using their belief to destroy the lives of young people who are confused. They must be stopped. Excellent documentary. So these are the folks that Jesse is pushing back on. Let's let her keep pushing back because I don't think I can say it better than what she's saying. Go. Cool. Any, any of my four children that I also grew inside my womb in case pious pippies here, if any of them are part of this community, they will be lucky because there is not a whole lot of families that would love their child unconditionally and seek out knowledge for them to understand their minds and their bodies. And the fact that they want to take that away from children, that is disgusting. That is child abuse. It is child abuse. So why are we even here? Why are we even doing this? Why does hate even have a platform? I'm so sick of these straight white Christian males who are already at the top of the food chain acting like somebody is out to get them. Mm -hmm. They just want to exist, Aaron. Period. Peacefully. Leave them alone. Did you get that, Aaron? Man, I love this lady. Make it happen. What's your thoughts here, Ray? 
Yeah, I know it's fantastic. That last when she called him out by name at the end, it was, there was some venom in that. <laughs> I, she really went off on him. But you know, um, as someone who's uh, part of the LGBTQ community, uh, it is really important to see people who are not pushing back against uh, the rampant homophobia, transphobia that we've been seeing arise in, because you know, especially for younger uh, queer people, seeing displays uh, that represent them in a library or being able to access books that can you know, make them feel included, especially if you're living within a community that maybe there's not a lot of queer people, there's not a huge LGBTQ population, so that you have a connection to those things, so that you know that you can be yourself and that it's acceptable and to see that the community also supports what you're doing. And she said at the end of one of her kids was gay, she would love them unconditionally. And she said that the it was no longer clip she's talked specifically about conversion therapy how that's mm -hmm. child abuse she mentions you know how these people who are telling their kids that they're wrong how that's child abuse she's exactly right they don't want people to love and support their children they want to they want more child abuse these people who are home rampantly homophobic and so just hearing someone say that can mean a lot to a, you know a gay child who maybe has not come out yet out of fear I mean, this is the thing, people have to detach from the fact that folks are humans in order to treat them this way and then completely find themselves in a different position. Can't, can't picture themselves in a position of a kid who doesn't know how to really be themselves. And then if there's an inkling, if there's a hint of it, then there's anger coming their way. Does it make you feel like you belong at all? If you can just imagine and put your brain in that position, maybe just think about it for a second and you might get as mad as Jesse was. <laughs>